Latin gas allowed. Not in our name, no genocide in Gaza allowed. Nicht of Inzer Nummer. Not in our name, no genocide in Gaza allowed. Alliance. Alliance. Canadian des Juifs concernés. Nous à l'occupation, on est de bonnes Juifs. Yes. The, the occupation of Palestine is illegal. Ah, I see. Yes. It's in. in, in uh, it's oh yeah, I got it. I got it. The International Court of Justice is going to make a ruling in about a week's time. I just visited the museum. Yeah, I'm a second generation Holocaust survivor myself. Oh, okay. From Poland. From my, Poland? Yeah, my mother was in the Warsaw Ghetto. Ah. And we were Bundists. So the Jewish Bund, they were the, they fought against the fascists, you know, like partisans, like my uncle. But the Zionists, they ran away. That's the big difference between the Jewish Bund and the Zionists uh, who founded Israel after the war. That's why we disagree now. You have come a long way. Parents, but you are lucky though because you are born here. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I was conceived in the refugee camp though, and then I was born in Toronto. Oh yeah, because from what I read, uh, people initially, initially Canada was not very favorable. But my my father got in because his sister was already a citizen ah, I see. from before the war. But other Jewish refugees, they, didn't, they did not let in. It's a very few amount of people, who, like 8%, 8.5% 8 of all immigrants. Were Jewish? Were Jewish. Yeah, not much. Like 4,000 people, that's it. Wow. Yeah. But that's, after the war, obviously, things changed. It's like during the war between... Even the after the war, they didn't let the Jewish refugees in, unless... They had a relative who was living here in Canada who was a citizen who would sponsor them. But other Jewish refugees who didn't have a sponsor, yeah. they didn't let them in. I'm afraid like it's, it's the British thing. Like the Brit it's the British. Yes. It's the most dominant in the yes. government. They are more or less kind of racist. Yes, yeah, yeah. And not just to Jewish but to other races oh, yeah. as well. To French yes, also, you know, like French is slightly better in Quebec. No, I mean like the British are very uh, racist towards the French, even. There are some exceptions, but yes, because France and the British have been in war all the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here there used to be a war yeah. between the French Empire and the British Empire yeah. before Quebec. Quebec was lost. Yeah. 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 It's unfortunate. But there's many Quebecois who want to become independent now of the British. I know. Yeah. I was just doing that research a few days ago. Oh. I was saying, why why not Quebec? Because in a way, Quebec is independent, but at the same time, it's not completely independent. No, it's autonomous only. Yeah, yeah, it's semi-autonomous. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like that. Yeah, yeah. But why not become entirely autonomous? Some of the arguments is that it's not a priority for them. <laughs> like, there's not a, like, the urgent rush 
to be yeah. like that. I, there's no cause. Yeah. But Quebec is missing out a lot, you know. Look, you know, Egypt has the Suez Canal, right? And they yeah. make billions of dollars from, from fees to go oh, through yeah. the Suez Canal. If, if Quebec becomes... Does Quebec? Then yeah, has, then they can has, shut down has, the St. Lawrence Seaway. It's a lot of resources. Well. Not only that, the St. Lawrence Seaway. Oh. The passageway into Toronto, Chicago, Detroit, you know? That's, that's to, to the west. Yes, to but... To the east, you have to Atlantic. You can cut that off as well. Yes. But they should be getting, you know, passage fees. They should be taxing all the boats that go through. Right, right. They're missing all that revenue. I'm talking about tax. Working here, besides paying the, the Canadian tax, yeah. we are paying the, the Quebec tax, which is, seems to me like extra. <laughs> well, uh, all the other provinces, the same. In Ontario, yeah. you have an Ontario tax, oh, too. I see, I see. Yeah. But here's slightly higher, right? I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it... Yeah. I don't mind it. I don't mind if you can make it become too dependent. No, I mean, either do I, you know, because I left Toronto, you know, with bad feelings there. Because uh, I've been visiting the museum recently. Yesterday I was at the uh, Musée Jean Mans, so it has uh, quite a nice history of the Quebec. Oh, yes. Uh, Montreal as well. And, uh, yeah. and obviously, the after, after the Quebec becomes semi independent, the language of French becomes the dominant yes. official. And many of the British one the emic got out they of the left, yeah. they left to Toronto. I took my I put my son into the French school. My son was the first Jewish student in the French school. Not in our name. Nicht auf unsere Nummer. Do you know Yiddish? Yes. Ich bin a Bundes, the Yiddish Bundes bin ich. Yeah? Man am Mittes gewähnt in the Warschauische Ghetto. My mother was in Lithuania. Oh. I speak a Yiddish Lithuanian. Ah, a Lithuanian. Yeah, yeah, but was. my stepfather was from Warsaw. Uh -huh. Warsaw. Yeah, my mother escaped from the ghetto uh -huh. and came back with messages for the resistance to get other women, you know, to escape from the ghetto. And her brother, he became a partisan. He was lost. In which country? Uh, they crossed the border over into uh, Russian-controlled Poland, you know, and then when the invasion from the Nazis took place, they they retreated into Russia. But they kept uh, he kept being a partisan, and then he was conscripted into the Red Army, and that's all we know. After that, he was lost. My, my uncle died fighting in Stalingrad. Oh wow! In Russia, Oh, I saw two movies about Stalingrad. Incredible yeah. resistance, yeah. It yeah. reminds me of what's happening in Gaza now. The superior military force who thinks they can do whatever they want. It's just disgusting. Yeah, I know. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay, you've got a passageway now. Okay, bye for now. I'll be here next Sunday. Bye. Talking about Russia. That right? was very interesting for you. you. Direct testimony from a survivor. Yeah, they just. Yeah. I, 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 I saw them. At the ah. They were at the museum. Ah, I see. Uh -huh. yeah. But she knows about the Bund and, and you know, uh, it's uh, too bad, but all our members, you know, were killed by the Nazis and, 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 and the, or by the Communist, you know, party as well. Yeah. You see, when you look at the history, just. If you look at it far enough mm -hmm. and broad enough, just there's no right or wrong in it. Like you can, the Russian were against the Jewish as well, right? Before the revolution, before the revolution, there were pogroms under the Tsar, under the king. Okay. But after the revolution, no more pogroms. Okay. Because the Russian fight, it's a communist. I, I'm against communism, but they're communists, and they were one of the main reasons that you were defeated. Because the starting up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I detest the communism and dictatorship. Even now, Russia, it's like Vladimir Putin is like a dictator. Uh, but at the same time, they defeated the Nazi and. Yes. <laughs> While the Americans were sitting there and watching. For three years, they were neutral. Yeah. They didn't care. They wanted both sides to kill off each other. Because and they then were, they would take over the world. Yeah, the attitude is more like. Back then, Canada and the Americans, not too much difference in terms mm. of the attitude. Yeah. They were like on the other side of the continent, like they don't really care that much. For America, it's like... Except that Canada was, uh, was, was fighting with Britain. 
you know they sent uh, Canada developed uh, 